Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just this morning, somebody sent me this Saints emblem. And it is a JPEG or a GIF, and it is pretty pixelized. I mean, it's pretty bad. So this is the one they sent me. I found this one. Look how much better it is. I mean, it's still pixelized, but it's a lot sharper than this one. And the reason for that is because right here on the Internet, when you're going to go find clip art, I'm pretty sure this is the one she sent me. It's 446 by 545. Now, it's a GIF, but it doesn't really matter, I've found. But look at the one I found. As a matter of fact, it was the first one. She might have picked this one. If she did the same search, she might have picked this because of the gold background. She didn't want the gold background. But this one is 565 by 1024 pixels. It's, it's a pretty big file. So let's go back to Corel. And just one time again, showing you the difference between the two. And I traced the good one. So here's my trace version, and it's clean. And there's plenty of versions out there, or plenty of videos out there on a trace. But all I did was go to trace bitmap, outline trace, and clip art. And it, and I've got uh, remove background, so it's going to remove that that gold and um, nine times out of ten your your new trace model will be on top of it so you just drag it away but she not only wanted to do that she wanted to put a hairline around the outside so as you can see here we've got a group of four objects on one layer our object is almost 12 inches wide so we're going to change our nudge factor our nudge distance to 12. We're going to take this, we're going to go to range, and we're going to ungroup them. We're going to take the black center, we're going to move it over. We're going to take the black out, or the black, or the gold, and move it over. And we're not going to use it, because I just got through doing this before I sent them the file. So, that's going to be what our end result. But to make a hairline around that, the best way to do is make a control D duplicate of it and move it over. Now you can play around with this and this is where they were having trouble. Left click, right click, you've got two lines because that line was made up of two lines. Then all you have to do is go to range and break the curve apart. Pick on that inside line, carefully not getting the other one and move it over. Now, Let's make a duplicate of this because I want to show you something else. Control D and I'm going to move it over. Now you have a cut line right on the outside of your artwork. So you can cut that out and engrave it. That's awful close. And it would almost be better to have a little bit of wood. So you would go to contour. Go up to effects. Contour. We're going to contour. Let's go 0.008 with black to the outside hit apply and you can see that it's not contoured it very much but it's off the surface a little bit let's zoom in here real good break go to range break contour apart see if you can't grab the red and move it out of the way you did now take the black and move it over now you have a hairline it just happens to be black and we can move this other red line away because you don't want to cut it twice whoop I moved my factor or my emblem which wouldn't be a bad thing if to do it this way then you know you don't have it and then move this away you don't need that red you need the black so let's change the black to red now just so we can see it better let's move it over now we have a contour cut line just on the outside, and this thing isn't perfect, it could be cleaned up a little bit. But for the video, I'm not going to touch it. But that's a really easy emblem. Uh, but the, the, I guess the, the fact of today or the lesson for today is start with better clip art. We're going to do a little test here. And just to make sure, voila, we've got transparent color so it's just going to engrave the black i hope it helped them a little bit and thank you for watching